so today let us talk about the fracture neck of femur the fracture neck of femur this is the head this is the neck this is the trochanter this is the lesser trochanter here is the acetabulum here is the transverse acetabular ligament from here is entering the blood supply to the neck here you have the capsule and here are the vessels which are the lateral vessels which are crossing the growth plate and supplying the head so this is the blood supply of the neck so what happens that there is the presentation is that there is a old lady osteoporosed who slips and falls there is pain swelling deformity loss of function around the hip you must remember that the pain can go up to the knee because the knee and the hip have a common nerve supply the posterior branch of the obturator nerve supplying the knee and the anterior branch supplying the hip <coughs> you have to remember this reference of pain which is the obturator nerve on examination there is a flexion adduction external rotation deformity with true shortening above the trochanter as demonstrated by the bryant triangle and the patient is unable to raise the laminar with this presentation the possibility that to the trochanteric fracture or the neck of him in the trochanteric fracture the tenderness is in the trochanter and in the neck of femur it is in the scarpa spine in the trochanteric fracture the trochanter is second and tender here it is absent <clears throat> the trochanter fracture fracture will mal unite the complications of neck of femur are non union and avascular necrosis <coughs> then since the trochanteric fracture the capsule it is extra capsular so if we say it's extra capsular that means the external rotation would be complete here whereas here external rotation will be limited by attachment of the capsule to the distal fragment so external rotation limited so this is the differential diagnosis <coughs> another differential diagnosis of the flexion adduction external rotation component if there is no history of injury 
in a child you suspect Perthes disease and in an adolescent you suspect adolescent coxavera or slipped femoral epiphysis. Now with this let us see how to investigate the case. Assess the general condition of the patient due to hemoglobin, TLC, DLC, ESR, GBP, VTCT, blood urea, blood sugar, urine, and stool. Now, here is an old lady. So, you add electrocardiogram, you add x-ray chest and you add a reference to physician and anesthetist. Then <coughs> you check the dentation, dental health, you check the opening of the mouth from the point of view of anesthesia all right then to Im you image the fracture and in that you take an x-ray of the pelvis AP view with both hips in identical position and now how to view this x-ray. Immediately the examiner will say how to view this x-ray. So here is the head, here is the neck, here is the trochanter. First question you ask is, here is the acetabular. First question you ask is, is there a fracture? Answer is yes. If this Shenton's line. This is the Shenton's line, the obturator with the inferior border of neck of femur. If the Shenton's line is broken, broken, then you may have a dip here which may suggest a fracture neck of femur. Then where is the fracture? anatomical classification. It can be subcapitate, transcervical, or basal. Subcapital, transcervical, or basal. <coughs> then, what is the power then? Is it, is it horizontal or is it vertical? You join a line on the upper border of both acetabulum and you join the fracture line. This is the power line. If it is horizontal, if the power angle is horizontal, it's like this, then the muscle force and the weight will cause compression of the fracture or impaction of the fracture and this is the abduction type or low power angle type <coughs> fracture. Now if it is vertical, if it is vertical then there will be a shearing stress. So if the power angle is less than 30 or it is 30 to 50, 30 to 70 or more than 70, so that is the classification as for the power angle. Then there is a third classification which is called as Garden's classification. 
and gardens classification is incomplete or complete depending on whether one or both cortices are seam fractured and once it is complete it is classified into undisplaced partially displaced or completely displaced so <coughs> the difference is how do you distinguish between partially displaced and completely displaced and that uh, can be by understanding that if this is the fracture and this is impacted that means it's partially displaced partially displaced then this rotation would also rotate the head in the opposite direction therefore the trabeculi of the head will not be aligned with the trabeculi of the acetabulum whereas if it is completely displaced the head would rotate into a normal position and there will be trabecular alignment <coughs> so after this how do you manage a case of fracture neck of femur so first you splint then you apply a belloni traction and immobilize by by pillows you do quadriceps exercise and deep breathing exercise you may give something to relieve pain and in the meanwhile you investigate for the type of fracture for the type of fracture and if it's a old case whether there is avascular necrosis osteoporosis or osteoarthritis that means the complication of the fracture to so investigate for type of fracture any complications and fitness for general anesthesia and surgery so after this you choose the treatment if it is a young person and the fracture is reducible then you do a closed reduction and internal fixation now if the epiphysis is fused then you can do a dhs or cannulated cancellous screws if the epiphysis is open then you try to fix it by pins and there are two types of pins austin moor pins or noel pins austin moor pins or noel pins and you try to fix it up to the growth plate or if you cross the growth plate if you do cross the growth plate then you try to cross it in the center and perpendicular to it you want to right bisect the growth plate by the pin so that you do not cause any discrepancy or damage to the vessels so this is young and reducible now if it is not reducible 
then you do a open reduction internal fixation so these are for fresh fracture now if it is a old fracture old fracture you find out whether the head is vascular or avascular supposing it is avascular necrosis with this old fracture then you simply do replacement arthroplasty if it is avascular necrosis plus osteoarthritis you do total hip replacement if the patient needs ground level activity or is poor then or ground level activity then you do excisional arthroplasty plus minus pelvic support osteotomy now this is for this operation is called as milch bachelor's operation okay so fresh reducible young person fresh reducible close reduction internal fixation not reducible open reduction internal fixation old avascular necrosis present hemi replacement arthroplasty a vascular necrosis absent a vascular necrosis plus osteoarthritis present total hip replacement these ground level activity necessary ground level activity essential or poor patient excisional arthroplasty excisional arthroplasty plus minus pelvic support osteotomy which is called as milch vascular now this is also excisional arthroplasty is also done when there is a lot of osteoporosis osteoporosis ground level activity squatting cross legged sitting needed poor patient excisional arthroplasty plus minus milch bachelor now this is the treatment of fracture neck of femur then you are maybe ask the prognosis and if treated early prognosis is good one thing more if it is a young patient and the fracture is not reducible then you can do a open reduction internal fixation so young patient not reducible you can do a open reduction internal fixation but and this is in a fresh fracture now supposing the fracture is old then you combine this open reduction internal fixation with a bone graft or you treat it by subtrochanteric displacement or angulation osteotomy now we'll tell you how this displacement angulation of cut me works supposing this is the head this is the neck and here you have the fracture the displacement of cut me if this is the if this is the fracture and you do an osteotomy like this the 
osteotomy would support both the proximal and distal fragments the the trochanter would get immobilized and the fracture will unite so this is called as displacement osteotomy it was described by mac murray and the osteogenesis of this osteotomy site also helps in union of fracture but the problem with this is that if this is the pelvis in the pelvis and this is the vertebra the weight bearing so the limb will become closer to this weight bearing and this lever arm would reduce as this lever arm reduces there will be more loading on this head and therefore there will be greater chances of avascular necrosis therefore this osteotomy was replaced by what is called as angulation osteotomy this is an abduction or angulation osteotomy so here what happens that initially the fracture that was vertical if this was in this direction it was vertical as you angulate it this muscle force would now become like this and the weight would become like this the so weight and muscle force will impact the fracture so this angulation osteotomy reduces the power line so this is the treatment for young old case and and unreducible fracture neck of bone so we will revise this revise this once again fresh reducible young patient dose reduction internal fixation fresh unreducible young patient open reduction internal fixation plus bone graft either from the iliac tuberosity or from the quadrate tubercle now head compromised avm hemi replacement arthroplasty head plus acetabulum compromised avascular necrosis osteoarthritis total hip replacement not possible or presence of osteoporosis also this plus osteoporosis or this this is not possible because ground level activity is needed or the cost is more then excisional arthroplasty plus minus pelvic support osteotomy and then old not reducible but young patient can't replace the head because the life of replacement arthroplasty is small then you do a subtrochanteric osteotomy two varieties displacement or angulation or combined i have told you how each of them works 